Hi everyone, welcome to Cross With My Coffee. Today we're gonna make some amazing prayer flags or good intention flags or what I call blessings in the wind. I picked my Buddha flags up from a free trade store in Calgary and they have such a wonderful meaning. So every time I look at them when I'm here at my sacred space, or anytime I walk past my bedroom window, you just think positivity. I just, I love them. And uh, there's intention set when you hung them, and there's certain way to hang them. And they would adorn any backyard beautifully. I'm going to get my inspiration for the ones I make from these ones from Cloth Paper Scissors. And this was March, April, 2012. And, um, it says fly your flag and it's inside the article it says to use whatever you have at home as far as fabrics and things and look at how funky and cool these are so let's get started hi everyone well like I said I got my inspiration from this uh, cloth paper scissors magazine right here it says fly your flag and on page 62 it tells us all about how to make your prayer flags and the first thing look at the different materials there's really I mean they've got soldiers on there I guess that would be for US vets that's very pretty very nice and whatever you want to put on it sky is the limit and it says to use what you have and basically Cut your pieces 5 by 11, use materials you already have on hand, fold the top down and stitch in place and make a 3 inch sleeve, making the flag surface 5 by 8. You can paint, stitch, applique and collage the flags, add words, journaling symbols, thread the flags onto a string or a cord and hang them outside so the breeze will catch them. So, I want to show you what I've done so far. I went through all my fabric and I was so fortunate enough to have such gorgeous fabrics. And I, I, while I was cutting them, I was like, why did I have these? So, I'm going to make a thing with six flags on it. I'm making four sets. So, you can see I folded my down. I didn't do an exact three inch. It is, I don't even know what they measure, but you do whatever you want. So there's one, there's another. This is gonna represent my white because the real Buddhist flags certainly have, they all have a message and I'll tell you in a minute. Let me just show you my fabrics first. This one is red, isn't this gorgeous with the gold? Oh, it feels like silky sari cloth. I have no idea why I have this, but I did. This is African Kinti cloth, and this one, my mother had made a hat into it, so I tried to keep this band here, you see? So that'll be on the bottom, actually. Let me turn this around. So, there you go. And then this blue, dark, dark navy blue and this beautiful batik green. So those are the colors of my flags. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. Then I went yesterday with my girlfriend Janet to a bunch of thrift stores because we were looking for blouses or shirts that had appliques on them. So I found, you know, those hippie shirts with the mirrors. So I cut out a few with those out of a shirt and I also am saving the gorgeous wooden buttons that was on that shirt tons of them kind of gauzy shirts like this and then I bought another white lace it was just a t-shirt actually but had beautiful lace and bellies on it so I cut off all kinds of lace these are also off that these flowers, some of this stuff. So yeah, I have plenty of embellishments to put on my um, flags. So what I'm gonna do very first is go to my sewing machine, 
and sew down this seam across here just to make my pocket for my strings. So I'm going to get all those done. Okay, so I sewed all the little, you know, the thing for my string or ribbon or whatever you choose to run through here. So on every single one of them, because I'm making, how many sets did I say? Four sets with six flags each in them. Now, on real Buddhist flags, each color has a meaning. But you, like you saw in the cross paper, and Scissors Magazine, you can put any meaning, any meaning at all you want on your flags. They are, as I call them, blessings in the wind. And when um, the Buddhist belief is that when they are blowing, they are taking gratitude and love and compassion into the world. And I believe we just all need that. And it just takes it, and you l never let them touch the ground, and just let them disintegrate into the universe because they will shred eventually from the rain and the wind and everything. It's just the coolest thing ever. And whether you're Buddhist or, lo or not, it doesn't matter. You don't. Buddhism is actually a philosophy, not so much a religion, as they say. But whether you're Buddhist or not, it doesn't matter. If you believe in kindness, goodness putting good things out into the planet, um, just making the, it's like if you put it out there, it will happen, you know? That's what these flags are kind of about. And the ones that I had hanging up in my on my balcony upstairs, every time I see them, I always think kindness, goodness, all of those things out into the world, into me, and it just helps change your attitude a bit. So, after that big rant, so each, I'm going to put on mine a meaning. So I need some white cloth of some sort to stamp on and then I'll stitch it on there. So I have this uh, wall hanging from, look, it's all stained and wrecked. And it was all about angels or the guardians of hope. And my mom had given it to me a long time ago. I love this. So I'm going to fold it up, hopefully into 24 pieces. So I want to cut these into 24 strips and on these strips I am going to stamp the meanings of the different colors of the flag. Blue is for gratitude and these are my blue ones right here. So somehow I'm going to stamp gratitude on the white sheet because you see if I stamped it on here you wouldn't see it. Um, white is for courage. It's it re, um, it's a symbol of air. White is a symbol of air. Blue is a symbol of the sky. So you see it's very loosely translated in my colors because this is not white. But it's white in my head. <laughs> so this stands for courage. Red is uh, the symbol for fire. That's the earth element. And it's for happiness. Green is for water and for wellness. And hang on, get them here. And yellow is for the earth. And it's reminding you to stay grounded. And my yellow is these, because it's got that goldy thing on it. And then, for me, the entire thing is all about balance. So I'm going to use this for my balance one. So I got it figured out. Um, these ones all have the writing with the angel stuff on them. And these, oh, here's another one that doesn't. Perfect. And if they have the writing, I'm not gonna cut these in half. I'll probably cut them around here after I stamp on it. These ones are all plain, so they can be cut in half. So that gives me more than 24. So I'm gonna get, I was going to use 
these stamps, but I think they will be too big. So I'm going to use this set of Alpha stamps, and I will use my Archival Black ink to stamp the words on. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, I'm working in a different room just so I can work on multiple flags at one time. So here's the green one. And as you can see, I glued on a trim of lace from that blouse. I stamped the wellness on first. And then some of the words are remaining from the angel wall hanging, which is really kind of cool. Like they all look different, but they're all really neat. So um, the next thing I'm going to do, I got out my old foam stamps and I tried to originally stamp with white ink. It didn't work. Then I tried white paint. Didn't work. Best thing ever, gesso. So I'm going to put a blob of gesso in the lid and then take a foam stamp and then just kind of smear it around until it gets quite thick on the bottom. This is why I wanted to do it out here. I figured if I'm going to make a mess in my craft room, I might as well make a mess throughout the entire house. I'm actually, that light there is my craft room. I'm just in the family room. So I'm going to put one right here because I thought, what is the point of stamping it if you can't see it, right? And then just lift it right up kind of hard with one hand. Sorry for the camera wiggle. And then there's lots on here, so I'll put one up in this corner too. There, and I'll get some more on my thing. I just like that it's got some pow to it, you know, because it was too faint before. I'll put the second one here. Put it down. Lift it up, and then I'll put one kind of over here in with the words. I guess I don't have to make all that padding noise. <laughs> and then I'm just going to put one kind of over the words a bit. There we go. So I'm just going to let that dry. So that's flag number one, wellness. So I have all four of them sitting here drying. So we're on to flag number two, I believe. Uh, red for happiness. And I found this most bizarre stamp set that I bought um, at a garage sale for two bucks. And this is it here. And I thought they were whole stamps, but no, you have to, like, let me show you. For the H, for example, here's part of it. You have to stamp this wiggly line, or you have a choice. Sorry about the shadow, but you have a choice. You could use a pencil. They give you all kinds of straight line choices. That's not very good. And then... For the rest of the H, it's sort of segmented, like so. So I'm just doing it very whimsical up and down and not worrying too much about if it's straight or things like that because um, I drive myself crazy because this exercise is not about how straight you can stamp. So there's the A. Try and line it up. Please excuse my puppy. He's barking at a dog going by. So I, from another little stamp set like this one, I think I got this at Michael's. They are so cute. It's just all these little stamps. They had the cutest little sunshine. So I'm just going to stamp little sunshines all over. Put one on where I messed up the A there. And every time a doggy goes by, he goes bazooka, you know. 
because he stands up at the, the screen doors open so he peeks out and as soon as he sees a dog he's like but he calms down in a minute so I'm just random all over here then the next thing I'm going to do is add some really pretty sheer fabric that I had and here's a piece here and I just when I was cutting the red out and I saw this I just oh it looks so pretty kind of gave it an Indian feel with this over top almost like a sari feel not I'm sorry but sari so I'm going to kind of glue it and then crinkle it up like that so it has a little bit of ruffle and then trim it off so here are the four happiness flags. Can you see them? So I kind of literally, well, I literally ruffled them with my fingers. I just kind of scrunched it over so that it would look kind of like a ruffle. And I love that there's strings hanging, which means once it rains and blows and rains, the strings are going to be shredding on this one. And I love it. So let's go on to the next one. So this is number three, blue for gratitude, although in this light it almost looks black. It's a dark navy blue. So before I do anything, I'm going to, remember those fabrics I cut up, I've got toot on here, and then I've got gratty on my stamp already. So, oops, the G fell off. Hope that's going to stay and we're just going to go ahead and ink up the second part of the word and stamp that right here on the fabric good and we've got our word gratitude and the next thing we're going to do is just glue this along the side of, of the uh, blue flag and I'm trying to stay be really mindful of where the casing is going to be for the string so I can't forget that so I'm just going to glue that down there so we've got that glued down some of those spots were on there before but that's okay that adds to the wear and tear look of it all and remember these from the shirt so I'm just going to glue one of these down here somewhere where it fits without going over my words and then there's a little leafy thing and I'm going to glue that kind of down in this area somewhere and I know if it looks like I'm just kind of gluing them and not really being secure with them I'm going to be going over all of this with a sewing machine and swirling all around so everything's going to get caught in the threads once I'm done all of them so I might end the video here for part one and I'll come back with part two and finish the other three.